What's going on guys? Today we're looking at the Feel World F6. It's a 5.7 inch on camera monitor with a 4K HDMI input. So in the box it comes with a couple batteries, um, and an HDMI to a micro HDMI cable, two of those. Um, it comes with a screen, it comes with the L bracket, and it does come with the sun shade. But who cares about explaining all of it on a table? Let's actually take this out into the field and test it. Using the arrows at the top of the screen, you can go between menu options and then up and down those different options as well. It's a pretty easy system, although I did have to look for the arrows at first and <laughs> I was confused for, I don't know, 15 seconds over that. Um, but you can do a lot of different stuff. You can have uh, zoom, you can have anamorphic. The zoom is good if you want to check focus. And so you zoom in and then check your focus and then you push a button again and it zooms back out to the, the live view. So I'll turn off peaking really quick. It's called focus assist, um, but it's, it's called peaking. So I'll turn that off. Okay, so I'll go through just the menus for you really quick. It has a lot of different stuff. And if you want to see a specific part of the menu, just pause the video and take a look for yourself. I'm just going to go through this really quickly. Okay, so there's some cool features as well. The safe frames feature, it creates a box, what is safe in the shot and what's not. Um, it's definitely useful for different styles of shoots you wanna do. It also has um, the 2.35 by one aspect ratio. So that's nice, especially if you want for a more cinematic feel. Most films that you're using this with probably will be a more cinematic feel. So that's definitely very helpful, but I'm gonna turn that off for now. Um, also very helpful is the histogram. You can see down here, I already have it on, so if you change the uh, the exposure and the colors on the scene definitely the histogram is something that will help you out a lot false colors that's also pretty helpful um, though i don't use it that much zoom is good because then you can check your focus and you have to worry about wondering if it's in focus or not um, but you can actually set quick buttons on the top here that will allow you to zoom at the touch of a button so that's very very helpful Anamorphic is nice, it's definitely more cinema oriented um, using anamorphic lenses. So this is definitely a, a professional monitor. It's a great on camera. I, I would say it's probably not a good off camera kind of director um, director's monitor, but on camera, this is an awesome monitor, especially for the more professional users using anamorphic lenses and all that. Focus assist, of course, is awesome. Um, you can also change the color of focus assist. I like red just because it's the most visible but I'll turn that off for now. Um, overexposure, zebra, that's also nice. As you can see here, it's just identifying the overexposed parts of the image. And so that's also very nice as well. Okay, and also what you'll notice here is, is the, um, the image on the camera live view is not taking up the full amount of screen. It, it will come like that if your camera is not already adjusted for it. So what I'm gonna do is go into the menu of my camera so then of course I'm going to do, go to the HDMI menu. Um, output resolution, I do want the full 1080p. Um, this is a 4K monitor, um, but my camera only outputs um, 1080p natively. Um, but if you're using external recording devices and cameras that will output 4K, it's definitely something that you'll utilize a lot more. Um, but even 1080p is very, very, very nice on this. External recording off, of course. And then we'll go down to advanced. Um, output range, we want to go to full range. Okay, and then it should, yep, it is a full screen live view. Um, so you can see if I put my arm in front of it like that, it is the full um, angle, what is being captured on the camera with no cropping, and so that's really nice. I've used different monitors in the past, so I kind of was familiar with how to do this, but if this is the first screen that you're getting, um, that might trip you up just a little bit. It's actually an in-camera setting that will give you the full width of the screen. Other than that, let's actually test out the, the sunshade and see how it looks outside. Okay, so I just set up the camera, no, um, no settings changed on the screen. So I'm gonna do is click in the, actually before we do that, let's go to the uh, monitor brightness setting. Okay, so here's the backlight setting. I'm gonna turn it all the way up just to see what that looks like. So it's at 100% right now. That's actually not bad. It, this is direct sunlight and it's pretty bright outside right now. Um, 
And that's actually not bad by itself. Let's snap on the sunshade here. Pretty easy to do. And yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Okay, so that's a little bit more like it. But as you can see, I know it's a little bit harder to see on camera, but this is actually not bad at all. The sunshade definitely, I mean, it's a sunshade. It's gonna work as it should. Um, but the monitor brightness, the resolution, everything outside looks really clean. Okay, so the glare on the screen isn't too bad, um, but it's definitely a gloss screen. Uh, it's not like the matte finish, so there's, there's um, reduced glare. It does have glare on it, but it's really not too bad. It's only when there's really, let me move aside here. So there's really bright screen door behind me here. Um, and so it, it gets a little bit more complicated, but if you just kind of, if I just stand in front of that glare, you could see it's actually pretty clear um, and not a big deal there. So let's go to the menu. I'm gonna turn on peaking for you guys. Um, just so you can kind of get a feel to what for what that looks like focus assist let's turn that on okay so this is the focus assist on the screen it's actually pretty advanced i've really enjoyed using it over the last couple weeks so yeah as you guys can see kind of a really nice screen all around i think i will end up buying more of these as my equipment expands i do have some other screens similar to this one um, but Honestly, I like, kind of like this one the best, just for an on-camera. It's a 4K, very true colors, has the peak assist, has the exposure, has the zebra, um, and it's got a lot of other really cool functions in there as well. So really no complaints here for me. All right, I apologize for that wind noise. It is a very windy, <laughs> stupid day today. Um, but let me show you something really cool with the zoom function. So you can actually click around to, you can see that box moving as I click. So that is the focus point on what you want to zoom in on. Um, and as you can see, it zooms in on the center as I selected. Then you can find your focus exactly where we want it. Click off and it goes back to live. And you can tell too, the peaking is on. So if I move around the focus here, you can see the different peaking points show up. Okay, so there's the quick shortcut for the histogram, false colors, and focus assist on or off. So I really like having the advanced functions like that at the tips of your fingers, just one push and you don't have to search through a menu and stu like really stupid stuff like that. So overall, really convenient, really professional, really nice screen in my opinion. I bought this screen for $184 for the kit um, and honestly, I have no complaints with it. It's a very high-end screen um, for really not a bad price considering every other screen on the market right now. Um, this is actually probably one of the best screens I've used um, and I mean that, it's, it's a pretty good screen. The battery, getting it out, you always crush your finger in the side, ah, just like that. And it kind of just stings. <laughs> That's really annoying. And you also kind of just have to learn how to get the battery in. Even I haven't figured it out quite yet. There you go. <laughs> so that's the only complaint I have about it though. It's a, it's a solid screen. It's just that freaking battery is so hard to get in and out. Um, but oh yeah, battery life though is actually not bad. It lasted for about two and a half hours. It was down to 20%. It kind of goes, it goes by 20. So it goes hundred percent then it goes 80, then 60, 40, 20, zero. Um, it, it was down to 20%. I never let it run completely dead, but it got down to 20% in about two and a half hours. So if you carry just a couple of those on hand um, the day of your shoot, I think you should be totally fine. Each one will probably last around two and a half to three hours. Um, so really not too bad for a screen like this and portable batteries. This is an F550 battery. It's what most of these screens and um, sliders electronic sliders and all kinds of other stuff use as well. So I have a ton of these on hand regardless. Um, as any video professional probably does as well. So not a big deal there, but battery life isn't too bad either. All right, and so one other thing, one last thing before I wrap up this video is I do like that the L bracket does have the, um, the cold shoe mount. So you can actually put a microphone on there as well. Um, and it makes it really easy, especially for documentary and kind of on the go projects, events and whatnot. This is actually a pretty good setup. You get the microphone, you get your camera, whatever lenses you want and you get the on-camera screen. So a really good setup for on the go and documentary style shooting. So yeah, that's the, that's the video screen. It's really nice, um, in my opinion. I would have no problem buying it again, um, and really no hesitation either. It's a pretty nice screen, for the price especially. 4K, you can't really beat that. It comes with the cables you need, it comes with batteries, it comes with everything you need to get going, and it's on Amazon Prime, so you can't really beat that either. Two day shipping, one day shipping, 
depending on where you are. So yeah, all right, so that, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful. If you do want the screen, there's a link in the description, of course, go check it out. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.